We're now going to look at the final part of gradient of a line segment. You will find this on page 308 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 9. If the gradient of the line joining the points negative 3 and negative 7 and K and 4 and K is equal to 3 over 5, find K. Okay, again, write down your two points. Mark your points. This is 1, this is 2. Write down the formula for the gradient and then do substitution. Remember, you have the gradient, so fill it in. Fill in, do substitution of the x and the y values, and then start simplifying. And if you simplify, you can cross multiply because you have one term over one term. And then basically, you can just, uh, I just want to show you this step. So it's going to be k plus 7 over 4 plus 3. So you make it one term by putting brackets. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. So, and that was 3 over 5. So then I can multiply over cross. And then after I do this, I can simplify and I just find the value of k. Stop the video and do try now 9, just number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. If the gradient of the line joining the two points is equal to, find the value of k. Okay, first write down the two points. So what is the first point? P, which is 2 and 3. Q, which is k and 7. Then this is point 1, so let's call it x1, y1. This is point 2, so let's call it x2, y2. Okay, then start with the formula. The formula for the um, gradient, you can say gradient, of p, q, and that will be always first the difference in y over the difference in x. And then I substitute. In the place of y, I say 7 minus 3. And in the place of x, I say k. Um, let's just see. k minus 2. And the gradient, what is the gradient? 2 over 3. And then I just use algebra to solve it. So let's just go on. So it's 2 over 3 equals 7 minus 3 is 4 over k minus 2. And again, put brackets. To make it one term equals one term because then you can cross multiply. So basically you can say this top, multiply this bottom. So it's going to be 2 k minus 2 and then equals and 3 times 4 or you can say 3 times 4 but you can actually directly say 12 and then you're just going to start by doing that so then I'm just going to say this is 2k minus 4 equals 3 times 4 12 so then 2k is equal to 12 now as soon as it to cancel out you add 5 oh, add 4 add 4 or take it over by adding 4 okay and then I get 2k is equal to 16 and I just divide by 2 divide by 2 and therefore the value of k will be equal to 8 as easy as that